This episode is sponsored by Gobi. Today, I'll be building the bathroom at the back of the cabin, while still leaving space for the back entrance and future kitchen. A challenging task, to be sure, but I think I've worked out a solution. As you may have noticed, I'm using stamped lumber for the framing. Although I produce much of my own lumber on my sawmill, the cedar I use is just too valuable, in my opinion, to be made into studs and hidden behind a non-load bearing wall, which is why I decided to source these 2x4s from the lumber yard.
I took a short break from the bathroom build to install an exterior lighting system on the cabin, which is something I've been wanting to do ever since I added the solar system back in the summer. This is where today's sponsor, Govi, comes in. Govi lights are completely customizable, which means I can change the lights to suit whatever mood or season I'm in. The app includes over 70 color presets to choose from, or I can customize the lights on my own. Most of the time, I like to keep the lights on bright white to help me see what's around the cabin at night, which is especially helpful whenever I have to do a firewood run. Here's how easy it was to install the Govi lights. Each LED comes with a strong adhesive pad that can be stuck to the house soffit, or in my case, the cabin rafters. The lights also come with some screw-on brackets to provide an extra hold. Despite being bright, these LEDs are energy efficient, consuming roughly $8 worth of power per year, even on maximum brightness. Last but not least, Govi outdoor lights are made to withstand the elements. Pouring rain, freezing cold, or scorching summer heat, it doesn't matter, because Govi lights are built to last. In fact, they have a waterproof rating of IP67 and can work outdoors between 4 degrees Fahrenheit, that's minus 20 degrees Celsius, all the way up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, or 60 degrees Celsius, making the lights permanent and durable. If you're interested in checking out Govi products for yourself, just Google Govi Outdoor Lights for more details and see how you can use their permanent outdoor lights to protect and beautify your home in any season. Now back to the bathroom build.
Well, the washroom walls have been framed and cladded. As well, the barn door has been built and hung. And I've finished up with the smaller details of the washroom, so it's ready to take a look at. Now you'll see that it's at the center of the back of the cabin, which creates three distinct spaces. On the left side, that's where the kitchen is going to be. And you'll see my workbench is there at the moment, but I will be building cupboards and a countertop there. On the right side, this is going to be kind of our mud room. So this will be the entrance that we'll use the most for the cabin. We can come in the back and I'll build a bench on the right side. That's where we can stick our boots. I'll have some coat hooks as well to hang our jackets and the washroom is right there. So that makes it really convenient. So anyway, let's take a closer look at the washroom itself. Well, I'm loving the look of the barn door, if I do say so myself. I think it pairs really nicely with the epoxy door at the back, but the feature that I love the most about the barn door is the deer antler. And that's because years ago when my dad and I began scouting a location for the cabin, and we were looking at all the different trees and what we could use, on the very first day, we found this deer antler in a clearing. As I was looking at it, I knew that I wanted to use it somewhere in the cabin. I didn't know where at the time, but years later, it has its place and I think it's perfect. I'm really happy with where it is, uh, but that's why that deer antler is so special to me. It's because that is the very first material that my dad and I gathered for this cabin. So let's head inside here. And you'll see that I have some cabinets built at the back. When I installed the control panel for the solar system, I put it at the back of the cabin, and a lot of people were saying, oh, it looks so ugly. Why would you put your control panel in the cabin? It's so out of place. And I did have a plan for it, and this is what I did. I built it into these cabinets. So whenever I need to use the control panel or monitor the system, I can just open up these doors, and it's right there. When I'm not using it, I can tuck it away out of sight and out of mind. You'll see at the bottom, I've got another set of doors and this is just for uh, for maintenance if I need to to work on anything with the control panel or the wiring or whatever it's just all here I'm eventually gonna put a breaker panel down here as well so once we wire up the uh, the permanent lights in the cabin and the, uh, the outlets then we can work on it with no problems so there you go you'll see that I've got some recessed handles for the washroom door and uh, it rolls nice and smooth so couldn't be happier with how it is how it's turned out i'm just going to close the washroom door you'll see also that i have a side access uh, for the the solar system as well so again it's just another spot that we can get in and do work without feeling restricted uh, and on the other side actually on the kitchen side i've got another access door so we can access it from the front and from both sides so for the toilet, like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a compost toilet. I will be venting it out through the, the cupboards there or the cabinets and through the floor, I think. Uh, and that'll look nice and clean. You won't be seeing the hose really other than just where it comes out of the toilet and into the cabinets. But uh, I think it'll look nice and neat that way. And for the sink, I'm really excited for the sink because I'm going to make it out of a stone. Uh, so I think it's going to look amazing when it's done and hopefully that will be in the next episode. We'll see. There's still lots of snow out there right now, but if the snow begins to melt, which I hope it does, then I can start to hunt for the perfect stone for the sink. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, my friends, stay safe, be well, and God bless.